Hello and welcome to my video today. I have a special guest. This is Jim and he had received his Fisker Ocean 1 in Horizon Gray about a month before I got my car. And we've known each other for what, over a year now? Yeah. Waiting for our vehicles and commiserating and, <laughs> and trying to solve problems together. So he came over today and we're gonna do a project where we're gonna install a battery monitor and a battery tender, both at the same time to the 12 volt battery. And I'll show you all the steps and let's get started. Here are some things that you may want to use on this project today, a set of rubber coated work gloves, also a ratchet wrench with a 10 millimeter deep socket with at least a four inch extension. For reaching the negative battery terminal, you need to have this extender so you can go through the bracket opening that's above the battery. You could go below, but I find it easier to go above. You get a little bit better torque on that. This is a ratchet wrench with the four inch extension. You could also use the emergency ratchet that I have listed in the kit I did in a previous video that you can put it behind the service lid on the Fisker Ocean's front. And instead of using a 13 millimeter to open those bolts on the hood, you use a 10 millimeter attached to it. So that's what this one is. So this one works just as well. Also, some reusable zip ties or regular zip ties will help in ratcheting down the extra wiring that's gonna be in the 12 volt battery area under the hood, and also to attach the 12 volt monitor to the top of the battery cover. So using several of these zip ties, some of them connected in a row, you can go around the battery pack and lengthwise and widthwise to secure the top of the pack as well as the monitor. And then for any of the extension for the tender leads, you can use zip ties too. And I'll show you all that in the video coming up. And that's about it. This is what you need to do to work on this project. Let's go out to the car. I need to remove these screws that hold on the alligator clips from the battery tender cable here. So I need to use a Torx T15 and I will remove that right now. All right, and what we're gonna be using is this connector right here directly to the car's battery terminals. Here I have the Bluetooth monitor and we have two leads coming out. We have a red for the positive, black for the negative. These are spade connectors. And what they're gonna do is you're gonna put these underneath the nut that holds it in place. And I'll show you that in just a minute. This is the lead for the battery tender. It has slightly different terminal connectors that are round we're gonna to need to remove the nut entirely to put these on. But we're gonna do both at the same time. So we're both, we're gonna be adding the negative side here and the positive side here. So we're gonna put both of these connectors on at the same time. So we get two items connected to the battery. To make this easier, I am going to clip these I terminals so that they match the spade terminal so I can get them underneath the terminal nut easier. So I am going to clip it with a pair of pliers. And then here. May need to make it a little wider. All right, so that should be pretty good. And then we can go like this when they're attached to the uh, terminal. I'm also gonna do this one to match on the negative side.
What we're going to do next is the 12 volt battery is located right here. There's a cover over this section here because this is kind of like a bus bar that has a fuse box in it. So we're going to press the buttons on here. There's little tabs that we press and this will come off. We'll move that out of the way. There's a couple different areas where you can attach the leads. You can attach right here or over here. I tend to use this one because it's easier to route the wiring, but it's up to you how you want to do it. And then we have the negative under here. You can either do a low profile ratchet or wrench to get to it right here, or you can use a ratchet wrench with an extender and go through the top opening. And that's what I'm going to be doing. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the nut that's on the negative terminal right here. I'm going to insert the ratchet with the 10 millimeter socket so that it goes right over it. Having a deep socket helps a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen it, but not remove it. So I'm going to loosen it up here just enough so I can slide those terminal connectors in here. So as you can see, I have both of these and I'm going to insert them. Most likely I'll do the bigger one first. So let me put that one on. giving it enough clearance here. Then I'm going to insert the other one right above it. And if it's not loose enough, I can take the ratchet again and just give it a couple more turns. That should do it. All right. So now we have both of them attached to the negative terminal. Keep the leads out of the way. And now I'm going to tighten it. Now I will place the ratchet on. Hold both of these leads so that they don't move and then start tightening. All right, it is fully tightened. And as you can see, the both of the leads are attached to the negative terminal. Now we're ready to do the positive terminal. I'm going to take the 10 millimeter socket and I'm gonna loosen up the nut that is right here. And as before, we're going to slide the spade connectors underneath. I'm going to do this one first. And then the second one right here. And like before, if it's not loose enough, we'll do a couple more turns. There we go. So we'll have both of the terminals for the battery monitor and the battery tender on this one location. I'm going to take the 10 millimeter socket and now tighten it down. Holding these two in place. And it is now tight. On second thought, I'm going to try to reposition the leads here so that they're over this part of the terminal so that I can get the cover to fit on better. So let me try that right now. I'm going to loosen this up. 
Let's see if I can better position this around the other side. Now let me tighten it down. Now we're going to put the cover over here. And it's not going to quite snap into place, but it gets much closer than it was before. And we will also attach the monitor on top. So we'll do all of that with a couple of zip ties. All right, I found the best way to get the zip tie around the cover is to go around lengthwise on the 12 volt battery. So I have one zip tie going across and then one lengthwise. And that should be plenty to secure the cover in place along with the battery monitor. All right, at this point we have both the battery monitor and battery tender installed on the battery. Now I have the lead for the battery tender and I need to get that out of the car and I usually go through the hood area right by the windshield. And I'll need to attach this extender onto it so that it will reach all the way to that area. So I will connect these two together and then I will route this through here. There's an opening that we will go through here. And you want to have enough of it sticking out that you can attach this extender to the actual charger itself. Now I'll have a little bit of extra lead here. I am going to attach this to this pipe right here with some zip ties. And then one more up here. And that will keep things from moving around. We can also tuck this one underneath there and we are good. Let me show you what it looks like coming out of the hood. We have a little bit of an extension here and this is where you're going to attach the actual tender. So when you're not using it, you can just push it back into the car and a little bit of about six inches or so are going to be remaining underneath this cowl area. So here you can see the battery tender extender right here has the weather sealed cap on. Just remove the cap and and then take your battery extender lead and then insert it. And now your battery tender will show that it is on 12 volts and we want it to be on AGM standard and it is now charging. When the 12 volt is full, you'll see it switch over to the fully charged section. And I usually use the battery tender when I'm away from the vehicle for a week or two. And I'm also using it waiting for the 2.1 update. And look right here, so it's getting almost fully charged right now. So I'll just leave this here and let that finish up. And then when you're done, just disconnect the lead, put the cap back on, and then just tuck it underneath the hood. All right, well, we completed our project today. It only took, what, 12 hours to do? <laughs> no, but it took a little bit longer because whenever you do filming, it, it adds time. But we, we got it done. And if you need any help, please ask any questions you have down in the comments section. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.
ಇವಾಗ